Hello, I'm Greg Recke of Recke Mods, and welcome to episode 12 of my iPod series. And uh, in today's video, we'll be uh, finishing off my third generation iPod right here, which is flash modded. We're going to actually be putting a 128 gig SS, well, SD card in it, and uh, then buttoning it up after we replace the headphone jack I broke in the last episode. Um, I actually didn't think they were going to send me the whole headphone jack. Um, from what I uh, saw on their listing, they were actually going to just give me the headphone jack, but not the bracket, because uh, these are two separate parts on the third gen. So I'd already taken the old one out. So I don't know what to do with this bracket now. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're just going to stick this into here real quick. And then we'll stick this into here, clip it together after we test and make sure it formats properly. And I'll show you the end, uh, aftermath uh, and showing it working and stuff. So uh, let's get to it. Let's first off, make sure this thing is on hold. It is, okay. So. Let's get these screws out of here. And the last screw, pull that out, toss it to the side, set the new one in. All right, we got the new headphone jack installed. It looks like it will work. It does have a little bit of corrosion on it, but I actually don't think it's gonna hurt anything, so we're just going to go with it. Let's pop the 64 gig SD out. Take this new sand disc. If I can open it. Oh yeah, that opened nicely, didn't it? Pull out the adapter. And the SD card. Stick that into there. And slide that into there. Zena, don't you think about it. Do not move the camera. Good girl. And we'll put this pad here because I figured out that it's just slightly too thick otherwise probably to fit, but that will even out. So now we just need a PC to format this thing real quick. Let's see if I can pick up the MacBook right here. And I'll speed this up for you guys. Should probably format this first. So I know it's formatted right. Okay, it is formatted. Push that into there. Like that. It's in disk mode. Put this pad here so it doesn't slide out. It's in disk mode. So now we open up iTunes. Plug it in. It's in, it's connected. It's not actually showing on the computer though. It recognized that it had something connected. 
but it's not doing anything. I plug, connect, it's trying to do something. It stopped again. Okay, let's reset it. There it goes. Had to reset it first. It's in recovery mode. Hit OK. Restore. Restore and update. There it comes. It's writing to it. Reset. And it's restoring. There we go. Now let's shut it off. Put on the hold switch. Unplug it. We don't need this anymore. Let's shut this off. Move that off to the side. that in. Line it up. Flip it together. Like so. Case is a little bulged. Right there. Probably bent something. I have to work on that but we got it back together so I'm going to now grab the phone I, uh, the uh, camera and um, actually show you guys this thing working uh, the hold switch isn't doing anything I didn't catch great so I gotta pull it back apart and once I fix that we'll show you that in product Okay, so the case almost fits back together perfectly, but this piece just doesn't touch the switch properly, so I've made it taller. Um, you can't tell the case doesn't close properly. Otherwise, I use the old switch, and it's. I'm trying to keep it from gluing itself together. But uh, once this dries up, I can pop the case back together, and the old switch should actually work properly. We'll see. Okay, so I have given up on trying to get the hold, hold button to work when I uh, popped it back together and started sliding it. It worked the first try, and then it stopped working again because the pieces snapped off and then glued themselves onto the headphone jack itself. Yeah. So I will have to go back with some uh, baking soda and super glue probably and make some nubs on it. But if you squeeze it while you flip it, it will put the hold on and squeeze it while you flip it. It will take it off. It's a little inconvenience, but the hold switch still technically works. Now if we go over to, uh, let's actually turn the backlight on first. That's not how you do it, it's menu. There we go, got the backlight on. If we go over to menu, settings, about, we've got 118 gigs free on this 15 gig iPod. And um, I think the reason why this doesn't fit together perfectly is because the eye flash is pushing on the top a little bit. You can see a slight little gap on the top, but the case actually popped back together perfectly otherwise. It's just that little slight gap. 
And uh, if there was actually a locking tab, like right here and here, you wouldn't have a problem. It would have clipped the case back together with no issues. So it's a little problem, but not a big problem. And the whole iPod works now. Um, I've tested the sound out the headphone jack. Everything's working great. I am very happy. And, well, hey, we finally got a flash-based third gen that actually works and can mostly hold my iTunes library, um, which means I can daily use this thing and I can just toss it like that. It's flash. I'm not going to break anything. And look, it's still in good shape. Don't worry, it didn't hurt it. <laughs> but yeah, now we have, and it's the wrong button. Now we have a flash-based third gen with 128 gigs in it. Uh, of course, formatted for 118, you lose 10 gigs, but hey, it still works. And uh, I'm very happy with the results here. So that's the end of today's video, and thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget, I do now have a Patreon. If you'd like to support me, there will be a link at the end of the video and also in the description below. And thank you for watching, guys. This has been a Rocky Mods video. Okay, bonus material, guys. I've decided to add this onto the video after I already finished it, rendered it, and uploaded it. So I've already taken the upload down. These, of course, premiere, well, release days after I upload, so it wasn't a big deal. But I wanted to actually cover more about this thing after I got to use this for a day. Um, we got all of my music on it, and we still have 11.3 gigs free. Uh, this thing was, it's interesting. It will, when you plug it into iTunes, it will automatically start syncing with no issues. But once you eject the, the uh, iPod, it will um, freeze for a good, probably solid minute or two. And um, only come to around the time you finally give up and start trying to reset it. And it will actually start playing music for some odd reason. Um, it's, it's an interesting thing. But it does work, and everything works fine. The problem is, <laughs> um, when these were first made and introduced, uh, the max size was 30 gigabytes. And later on, they did introduce the 40 gig, um, but the max size was 30 gigs. They intended this to use a max of 30 gigs. And uh, this was actually during that time period when the 30 gig was out. Uh, they did discontinue the 15 and the 10 and um, and replace them with a 20 gig and they replaced the 30 gig with a 40 gig midway through third gen's production run. Um, but this board, it was intended for 30 gigs max. And as you saw, it does actually have 118 gigs it can see and use uh, after formatting and stuff. And that becomes an issue because this thing just does not know what to do with it. And when I first um, disconnected it from iTunes after it had synced everything, um, it, of course, froze with the uh, do not disconnect. And then it said it freezes on the OK to disconnect screen, OK? And it was the first time I would experienced it being disconnected after syncing. So I reset it. And uh, I thought it had bricked the whole iPod because it was not booting up. And actually, it was booting up. It just took a very long time. This takes a solid two to three minutes to boot up. And there's no way to tell if it's doing anything until it, it boots up. Uh, it also, to load all these songs in for shuffle songs, watch how long this takes. that that long it's um once it's loaded it plays fine um it's okay it, it lags a bit but it does work as we can see and it plays music fine i've been playing music on this non-stop for a few hours now 
I even had it in the car with me. And yes, I, I did charge it some. Um, I, I took a, a little break using it, but uh, it's working, okay? And I thought while well, I was taking the little break, and actually I think it just froze. Um, huh. Wonder if it's still playing. <laughs> now I'm curious. It's the first time it's frozen on me. It's still playing music, but the uh, screen and, and the whole whole thing's frozen. <laughs> um, huh. And see if it turns off. It does not turn off. It is frozen on me. And there it goes. It, it's came back. It's doing what it does when it disconnects. It's working again. Um, strange. It's really strange. It does. It's working. It's a, a perfectly fine flash iPod uh, once you get past all the problems it has. And I thought uh, while I was taking that break playing with this thing, why not? install Rockbox on it. So let's restart it and let it boot into Rockbox. We'll see that this is not a Rockbox iPod anymore. Um, there's issues. There's there's big issues. Uh, I had this playing video one time and I doubt it will play it now because I think it's, well, it's actually working now. I guess that if you reset it and let it boot into its regular OS and then reset it, it works. But if you reset it and let it boot back into Rockbox, it doesn't work anymore. So let's play from beginning. This is that one video and it's really, contrast is really messed up on it. Uh, I could darken it, but once you uh, stop playing um, the video, it just stops working, it, I think, froze again. Rockbox does not work on this with this much storage. It does not know what to do with it. <laughs> this is, um, this is, this iPod just, it's totally fine as a regular music player, but using Rockbox on this, Rockbox has no clue what to do with this much storage on this hardware. Um, Let's uh, try to uh, go back and try the video again. I bet you it freezes. Yeah, it's where it freeze like this. It won't do anything. And uh, it will eventually give up trying to load. A rock box just plain doesn't work. I could probably try to reinstall it again and it might work, but um, there, there's not much hope in my opinion. So I'll reset this and just forget Rockbox on this thing probably. It's still fine as a music player and I didn't get it on hold. I'm used to having the switch on the other side on iPods now. Um, if I remember correctly, the classic's on the other side and I'm just used to shutting it down. I want you to reset. Yeah, it's, it works. Uh, as a music player um, and only a music player with this much storage and it still didn't go into oh yeah it did, good, it went into hold it's going into its regular boot so um, yeah I, I'd say that this would run fine with 64 gigs in it Rockbox would fi work fine everything would work fine but um, with 128 gigs that's basically pushing the hardware limit right there. It's It can't go any higher than 128. It just will not let you go any higher than 128. And it's not what I'd call stable. Um, and it's going to look like this for another minute or two probably. But it is indeed putting up. It just takes a very long time. So would I recommend doing 128 gig flash on one of these things? Probably not. Is it okay for 
just a music player, yeah, if you don't mind it occasionally freezing for a bit, it will still continue playing the music apparently, um, but it will freeze, the interface will freeze up. That's a bit of an issue, um, but um, it does work. Um, and this has my entire iTunes library on it, and it plays it. But um, I don't know if I'd uh, say it's worth it. Uh, now, the 64 gig card, I think it would be fine. But doubling the... There it goes. It booted up. But doubling the memory, it, um, it does not does not like having um, 128 gigs in it, but it will play it. If we go back to shuffle, it will work. It just takes a while to start shuffling. So yeah. And now it's, it's going a little faster, but um, yeah. Yeah, and now it's working again. And all the extras work, like uh, games and stuff. You can do a music quiz. It will work. As we can see, I can't listen to the song, so I don't know if I'm choosing the right one, as you can see. See? <laughs> so, yeah. But it does work. Everything's working on the regular... Um, OS here, but um, it's just <laughs> it, it's it's slow. And sorry, I'm getting a little ADD. It's it's late at night while I'm filming this, and uh, I'm trying to film this while also playing this game, and it's distracting me. Uh, that was a cheap shot there. I should have hit that. <laughs> but yeah, it it works. Uh, and it's got the wrong time on it. It's not 12.19. Uh, it's like 2.19. I don't know what time zone this thing thinks it's in. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It works. But would I recommend doing 128 gig flash? No. 64 gig flash, if you don't mind going through all the heck to make it work and uh, using Windows to set it up, yeah, it, I think it works fine, 64 gig. I didn't see any issues with that, and it booted up really quickly. But uh, with the 128 gig, it takes forever to boot. It's got to organize everything and stuff. I don't know if it's really worth it. Uh, and you really can't go any further than that. I don't think this thing would work with anything higher than 128 gigs. Um, I, I just really highly doubt it would. Uh, but it does it does work um, for playing music. Rockbox, on the other hand, it, just, it hates Rockbox. But, oh well, what can you do? Anyway, guys, I thought you'd like to see this bonus material, and... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just say once again, uh, since it's, I've been recording for 12 minutes, uh, this has been a Rock K Mods video. See you guys. Bye. So I'm trying one last trick up my sleeve uh, and rebuilding the database to see if that fixes it. Um, I doubt it will. We'll see if Rockbox works afterwards. Yeah, that didn't work. Well, the Rockbox uninstaller made it very, very uh, easy to remove Rockbox from this. And uh, it actually works better than it did before, even before it had Rockbox on it. I didn't have to restore it or anything, and it's actually quicker now. Um, Rockbox just does not work at all with this much memory on this old device. But uh, the regular OS works totally fine now that I've removed Rockbox. As we can see, it is no longer laggy. Shuffle Song still takes a second. But uh, it doesn't freeze anymore. And it's faster. Okay, it takes a while for it to catch back up, but... It doesn't freeze anymore. It works totally fine now. So yeah, don't put put Rockbox on a device this old with that much storage in it. Uh, it's a 
bad, bad idea, uh, but it does indeed work now. Um, it's better than it was. It's just a dedicated music player, and it's okay. That's what it was originally intended to be anyway. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, there's some more updates. I hope you guys enjoyed them. See you later. Bye.